Since Tuesday, we've had a lot to discuss within Call of Duty World War II. In just two short days, I honestly think that the game has made massive strides in not only a turnaround of how the game itself plays at a fundamental level, but also in the sense of things we've yet to see and some things we can look out for. So as of Tuesday, once again, we got that update to give us DLC 2, but again, on top of that, we had the division system completely reworked, we had some of the base fundamentals of the game completely changed, and as such, we ended up seeing a lot of new content added in, but not necessarily everything that people may have thought. Again, as per yesterday's video, just a little branch of that discussion here continuing out a little further, a lot of people thought that we'd end up seeing an event launching with DLC 2, but that's actually not the case. But we did talk about in yesterday's video, that update was more so hinting at an event more than anything else that we may have realized. And I say hinting as if we don't know that there's already going to be another event, but in reality, it's pretty much guaranteed even taking out the fact that a new DLC was just launched. When we see three events in just as many months, it's a pretty safe bet that we can end up seeing a fourth one coming for this fourth month of the year. But like we mentioned, that update brought quite a few changes and things that have since been removed, and such things being the new weapon challenges and the brand new look for Butcher, who isn't even accessible and was not from the beginning of that update. It's still Thick Booty Judy, but those were removed, and what's interesting is one thing that actually wasn't removed that being a little bit of an update for the layering of paint jobs. So in case you missed it yesterday, we talked a little bit about this a little bit more in detail, but essentially if you end up going into the paint jobs and trying to craft your own paint job for whatever weapon it may be, if you end up going over to the World War II tab of the layers that you can select, if you scroll all the way down, you can end up seeing that we ended up getting some weapon kill feed icons added in, as well as what looks to be different pieces of a division crest. So what's interesting is that we end up seeing these added in as a new segmented collection within the layers. So if you end up going sequentially through the World War II layering, you end up seeing the base game layers are at the top, and then progressively as you get lower down on the layers, you'll notice that there are DLC layers and things for post-launch that would allow you to show some love to newer things in the game, not just things that shipped with the game in November. And well, all of these things like the weapon kill feed icons are available in there, as well as a rifle grenade icon and what appears to be once again a division crest for a brand new division. All of these are in one newly formed group added into the layers that seems to denote a DLC 2 emphasis, but a lot of this we've yet to see. And like I said, you can check this out for yourselves. It is buildable within paint jobs, and if you saw yesterday's video, you may have seen I pieced it together for a little bit of footage. But for those of you guys that did not, it'll be on screen for you guys right now. But this very well may be the next division logo in Call of Duty World War II. When you piece all these things together, you end up getting a little bit of a shield as well as a skull with a knife underneath it. So that's the interesting part, is what we can infer from this logo. Like I said, what we see is fairly straightforward, a crest with a knife and a skull, and that's something that we can look forward to, but I'll admit, I find it really surprising actually. And why I find that surprising is that for those of you guys who remember almost two weeks back now at this point, we did a video talking about data mined information of COD World War II's game code that indicated a future division update that we'd be getting in World War II. And this particular leak showcased four additional divisions on top of what we already have at the moment. So four new ones on top of Airborne Infantry Armored Expeditionary Mountain and Resistance, and those new divisions being titled Grenadier, Commando, Scout, and Artillery. Now that leak also detailed the resistance as a division, but that update already happened and we know that that was already added in because, well, we have it now as playable and it was added in with the resistance event back before DLC 1 launched. So that's something that's interesting, but it's kind of cool that it came from the same cluster of game code. So perhaps it adds a little bit more validity to where this comes from and how much we can end up actually relying on this to end up being something we can look forward to in the game. But regardless, it's from that same, I guess, family of code, if you want to put it that way. But why it gets interesting in particular is that of this game code leak that appeared to give us division updates, there is one in particular that stood out. That being one called the Grenadier Division, because that was the most complete of them all. But our paint job layers don't really seem to put much emphasis on grenades in that division crest. That is assuming that I'm not missing out on something here and we don't have that rifle grenade one thrown in the mix somehow in that division crest. Now I can't imagine that's actually the case, but again, I could be wrong here and maybe it is, but it seems like for the most part, there's not much of an emphasis on grenades with these layers. What we have just seems to fit sort of a melee and a knife division. 
So it's surprising because it's important to note that this game code leak was from Shamrock and Awe. So in the relative time frame, it was the most up-to-date look at unreleased developmental progress that we had so far. And while we did just have an update for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, it's interesting that PC actually was not included in that list. And I partially now kind of put on that tinfoil hat to think about conspiracies and maybe it's to hold off on any data mining that may happen. Maybe the event is actually going to launch on Tuesday and then we end up getting the full reveal of this division. But if the game were to be updated on PC along with everything else and not held off for a week, well, that could give away any surprise of a new division coming entirely because you'd end up being able to go into the game code, see an updated version of that progress, and really be able to define what we'll be seeing with the new division update and the new event coming whenever that may be. And again, I have absolutely no idea if that's even a valid thought. It might very well be just because it has to go out to Raven and get approved and everything having that aspect through all the official channels that need to be consulted before an update goes live. It's very possible it might just be that, but just for the sake of digging even further into this and maybe seeing why, That'd be a really interesting little cover-up, if you ask me. But again, getting back to the things at hand here, it is interesting because that division that we detailed a couple of weeks ago, Grenadier, was the most up-to-date and completed version of a division that we'd end up seeing from that build of game code. Others were still in development, yes, they still had some things attached to it, but by our standards of an offering that a division should bring to the table, it's interesting that this Grenadier division isn't really necessarily referenced, but another one may very well be. But that also being said, it's interesting because the Grenadier Division, if you guys remember that, has kind of become obsolete now, or I guess partially obsolete. Now, what I mean by that is the Grenadier Division was pretty much massive for two different reasons. One, it offered score streak buffs with the ability to take four streaks instead of three, and it also offered a rifle grenade launcher. Now, these sound a little bit familiar because they should. With the most recent update for World War II, the same one that added these layers into the game code, it also added an entire rebalance to the division system. It added two new basic trainings, one being clandestine, one being blitzkrieg, and it also added in a grenade launcher for rifles, which again, for those that may be worried about this or really haven't really come into contact with it much and haven't played since this was added, it's pretty much ineffective compared to what you might think. I don't think I've been killed with it yet since Tuesday and I've played a decent bit of COD since then, so I wouldn't worry too much, but isn't it odd that we see all of these things that seem to be perks of using a specific division added into the game. The only thing that really remains of that division itself would be score streak buffs across the board. But again, that is still covered by Blitzkrieg. It allows you to take four streaks, it alters how you get streaks, and then it also allows for score streak buffs as well. Now, it is possible that we end up seeing this added in and then division overlap happens because basic trainings and division attributes cross over all the time. Half the individual abilities from divisions can be used via basic trainings as is, but to me, it just seems odd that we get all of this and then a new division that offers literally nothing new. So to me, maybe this division overhaul rendered this Grenadier division, or should I say this version of the division useless before it even launched. I mean, there's still time that we can end up see this changing out and adjustments being made that may make it worthwhile. But to me, and maybe you disagree, that's totally cool. It just seems off. That's the only way that I can really put it, which ties back into the crest. We don't see any sort of fit, or at least from what I feel, any fit from a grenade of sorts into the crest design itself. Instead, we see a skull with a knife underneath it, which going back and referencing that leak that we saw two weeks ago, could indicate the Commando Division. Now, Commando potentially in the same sense of Modern Warfare 2 Commando or any other COD in history, but normally what from what we know, Commando has generally played into increased melee, which perhaps that goes into adding melee distance into World War 2, extending that a little bit. Perhaps it's the ability to one hit with your weapon guaranteed instead of just one hitting from the back and two to the front. Who knows? I mean, it's all speculation, but it's an interesting thought to me that we may have potentially skipped an entire division that seemed like it was completed or at least nearing completion as of two weeks ago. And it's certainly possible that as if you were to look at the leaked divisions, they would line up for DLC 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then there was one left over. So perhaps Grenadier was just skipped and we no longer have an extra, but that lineup was then shifted from DLC 2 containing Grenadier, DLC 3 containing Commando, and DLC 4 containing Scout with the extra of Artillery, Perhaps that's now shifted so that DLC 2 contains Commando, DLC 3 contains Scout, and then DLC 4 contains Artillery. That's certainly possible where we just skipped and then fast-tracked the rest of the divisions in terms of their release dates. But one thing is for certain, these layers which were not removed certainly reveal a little of what is coming very, very soon. 
It certainly seems possible that we get a new division with each DLC pack in World War II, as we first saw with the Resistance, launching with the event, not the actual DLC, and we have the same sort of scenario happening right now, where we have hints towards another one dropping with DLC, but with the events, not the actual DLC itself, like we already saw, has passed. So it's curious to see where this will take us, but I think that's where we're gonna wrap it up. What do you think about this proposed potentially commando division? I don't know if that's actually the name or not, but again, in terms of game code leaks, it's very much so what could happen. So I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback here on this one. Is there anything in particular you think stands out to you? Do you think it's gonna be something where we skip the Grenadier Division and go straight to Commando? Do you think it's something completely different than that of the name of Commando? Do you think it's something that may still very well be Grenadier? Whatever it may be, I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback. Right now, of course, there is no right or wrong answer. I would expect a new division to be coming out with a new event, and again, that might be Tuesday, it might be next Tuesday. I guess we'll see, but again, all time will tell, but I would love to get your thoughts on all of this in the meantime. So that said, drop your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, hopefully it was insightful. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below, and of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding Call of Duty World War II, anything regarding best class setups, tips, tricks, updates like this, information, all that good stuff, we got you covered here up on the channel. And of course, with Black Ops 4's reveal looming on the horizon, if you guys are interested in any of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. And if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube, practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Instagram as well, I'm trying to be a little bit more active over there also. So that link is as well in the description below. But all that's said and out of the way, hopefully you guys had a fantastic day. Thank you all so much for watching. Mine is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace. <laughs>